hi guys so with this car video uh, i'm basically trying to like redo my last car video the problem with the the last car video is it was shot in portrait and i i want to shoot this one in landscape because i want to post it on youtube um yeah you know that's always a big problem so if you haven't seen um the previous car video you should just go look at it from the Instagram. So I, I really didn't like my first car video, but I I realized that a lot of people like really reacted like in a way that was very positive to like the car video. So now what I'm trying to do is like redo those trendy cool videos that I've been seeing on Instagram. Yeah. So um I hope it, it worked out fine because like I don't have a gimbal because I'm shooting on a uh, on a very very like big camera setup uh but maybe maybe i should get a gimbal oh, okay. yeah so let's just get into it so the oh, i'm not really shooting the washing of the car uh anything specific to that although i think i should because like the storytelling aspect of it all should like also be considered but my main aim is to like all just get those trendy videos you know yeah so um, you guys tell me how it worked out because like uh y'all be quiet in the comments oh oh yeah also guys um the camera settings um i want to shoot 60 frames per second because i really want it to be like i want to have a lot of frames to work with i don't even want to make it slow motion i'm going to make it fast but i am going to shoot a lot of frame also um uh, I guess that is all for the camera settings. I'm shooting the widest I could, which is f1.8. But on this micro first thirds um, sensor, y'all should calculate it because eh, man's it. Um, yeah. So I'm getting into it. Um. So after some, you know, a lot of struggling with uh, keeping the camera in focus and all. I've decided to uh, to use a gimbal because I think at some some points you need to you need to be making trade offs because you know the reason why I was using my six K Pro is because it has the it has um, it has an NG filter on it and also it um, it shoots really high quality and also um, yeah, I guess I just, um, I'm very comfortable shooting in that camera. So like shooting with any other camera is just basically, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's a problem. So yeah, I'm going to shoot on this camera. This is uh, the 90D, uh, it's really my gimbal camera. Yeah, the reason why I'm using this camera over, um, over my uh, my 4K, um, my Blackmagic 4K is because the 4K needs um, it needs the uh, it needs two SSDs for me to balance it. I've showed you in the other video. So now I'm just going to shoot some quick B-roll of the car, and hopefully it turns out fine. Cause like using a gimbal, I know using a gimbal may seem like fun and all, but it's not always the best thing ever. So yeah, wish me luck guys, I'm going in. So yeah guys, so I just got into the editing bay right now and I'm realizing that like, ah, my footage is shitty. Like it's shitty. It's like, I tried to like stabilize it. I tried to like, I, I tried to do everything that I could do on it. Cause like, um, I tried to do, everything but like it's so shaky especially when i start adding the speed ramps especially like you know the first part of the speed ramp like the shakiness really shows so like i'm still going to try to like edit it i'm still going to try to like add some motion blur to sort of like directional blur to sort of like hide the jitteriness of like of the clips uh, and i uh, but at this moment I, I i'm not liking the clips at all i think the first mistake i made was like not planning my shots. I think I should have planned my shots because I thought, you know, it's going to be easy because, you know, I can use a camera and it's just a car, you know, it's easy to film a car. 
But I think the first thing I have to do right now is just do a lot, a lot of research. You know, research as in like look at all these videos, all these trendy car videos I've been seeing and like sort of see the composition, not, you know, not the transition aspect of it or the cool aspect of it, you know, because I, I think at first I was, you know, consuming the videos. Now I think I'm more like studying the videos. I'm going to be going back to study the videos, you know. Yes, like study them as in like see the composition aspect, see each and every single aspect of it. Well, not each and every single aspect because right now I'm just looking at the composition aspect of it. Yeah, so I want to see the composition aspect of it because I really want to see how they film cars and how they're able to like get their shots to be so, you know, to be so movie. Because now I could tell that the mistake I was making is like, you know, moving like this with the gimbal because i think the common misconception that we all have as people is that you know using a gimbal is easy i did go out and you know take out my gimbal and it wasn't easy at all because like i always feel like i could hold the gimbal with my hand and each and every single time i hold it with my hand it you know you know it kicks back so yeah using a gimbal is not easy at all and also um another thing is I need to get my composition right. I need to practice my gimbal moves. And I also need to um, get a lot, a lot of shots. Because I thought I was getting a lot of shots while I was busy shooting that car video. But now that I'm back in the editing bay, I'm realizing that ish, I don't have, I don't have a lot of like coverage. Because I did, sh I did reshoot a lot of like the same thing, you know, just to like get the you know, coverage right, but once you get that one shot that you really need, it's like all these other clips are useless. So I guess like it's it's important to reshoot the same shot once, but like it's more important to get like a lot of coverage because like coverage really does help. Um, yeah, so another thing is I, I really want to have more cars in my video. So probably I'm going to have two cars in the video right now, but it doesn't really matter because like I guess the aspect of me getting this whole thing right is just me making my videos look like those videos that I've seen on the reels and now this is what I have and I know it's not close and I know it's it's really bad and I'm really getting there but for now I'm going to show this to you and I'm still working on it I'm still working on it but this is it Damn. Reincarnated, I'm a stargazing. Life goes on, I need to my babies. Yeah, yeah. Woke up, looking for the broccoli. High key, keep a horn on me. That could my seat. High peak, ownership, the blueprint is by me. Mr. Get off, I get off at my feet.